Hello my viewers. Today I replaced a condensing fan motor on a Weather King. This condensing fan motor will give some of you residential techs an idea of, of what some of the commercial type of fan motors are like. So roll them. This is a, a great replacement motor for any motors that are one horse 1075 this motor is rated anywhere from 200 to 230 volts or it can also be wired in for a 460 volt system of course like I said this is one horse at, and the RPM is 1075 now the frame itself is actually a 48 frame but this has a bracket on here it's a removable bracket that can allow you to use this motor if normally you require a 56 frame type motor this is a uh, really a good option I've actually installed many of these this is a single phase motor the run capacitor that's required is a 25 microfarad at 370 volts oh, and, and the rotation is reversible it means that it, it could be either clockwise or counterclockwise now, whichever direction you need it to go is the way you would wire it now let's take a look at the wires that you'd have to connect to here's the wires right here alright we're connecting this motor to a machine that has 208 volts and that would be the right here for low voltage or low volts uh, if it were high volts then it would be a machine that had a line voltage of 460 volts but like I said in this case it's 208 230 now according to this wiring diagram here that's actually like just on the back of this plate that goes in front of this pecker head here three five and seven okay that see these wires are marked for example see there's a three here okay and let's see let's try to find five here here's five and uh, okay and then here's number seven so you see we have three five and seven and three five and seven are to be connected together just by a wire nut so we'll do that now and here we go we've got three five and seven all wire nutted together next according to this wiring diagram four and two are connected together right here and are also connected to line one and to one side of the run capacitor so that means that these two wires that would be number two and number four they both go to the common side of this run capacitor and if you notice this run capacitor is actually a dual run capacitor it's 25 microfarads on one side and five microfarad on the other I'm only going to use the 25 microfarad side of this run capacitor because I was having a hard time getting just a plain 25 microfarad run capacitor so for some reason I don't know what was going on there everybody's running out of them but the um, so I'm going to use the common side here and the side here for 25 microfarad and these two wires here will go on the common side next on this wiring diagram it calls for number six that would be this wire right here will go on the 25 microfarad side right here and then wire number one that would be this wire right here this wire will connect directly to line two okay here we go now I have all the wires connected Okay, wires number two and four are connected to line one just like the diagram shows right here line two and four which is 
connected to line one and on the inside of the cabinet it's going to be connected to one side of the run capacitor. Wire number one is connected right here to line two just like it's shown right here in the diagram. Lines three, five, and seven are simply wire netted together as I showed you before right here. Wire number six is on the run capacitor wire just as the diagram shows. It's connected to one side of the run capacitor. And as a safety precaution I've taped my wire nut connections. I'm going to wrap them all up and put them inside this box that's connected to the motor. Okay, I have the box secured and I went ahead and secured the wires uh, with some wire ties just to keep them out of trouble from the uh, fan blade all the way back here to where they go into the control panel. Here's the fan motor contactor. Here's our line one wire and here's our line two wire purple and as you can see it connects to the run capacitor right here just here in the common side of this run capacitor and then on the 25 microfarad side is the run capacitor wire which feeds all the way back to the motor here's what the fan motor looks like from the top side without the blade on and now it's time to put on the blade. First thing we have to do is we'll fit it for the hub. Alright, I set the blade on. Okay, see I just sort of dry fit the thing. Um, here's this is the hub. Where I, I know where I need to bolt the hub down and I'll do that first. Okay, now this type has a key and keyway that you have to set in. And I'll slide it down into position where I know it needs to go. And that's just about all the way down the bottom there. So you have to just make sure that when you put in this set screw that it will catch the key on the inside and which will press up against the shaft. And there we go. Got the set screw in there and here. It's holding the keyway into the shaft and then on this side I just put another set screw to hold this flat side of the shaft down. It's nice nice and snug. Now I can go ahead and just set this blade into position. Right there like that. Now I can put the screws through this blade and into the hub. Wait, that's how it's held down. Sometimes these screws can be a tussle. And there it is. Got all the screws in place right here now. Holding down this blade on the shaft. And it's time to put this drill back on.